Hi, just a quick follow-up on this uh, Yamaha RX uh, V579 receiver I found in the dumpster. Thank you to uh, several people who pointed out in the uh, comments that although I don't have the remote for this, you can actually download an app on your phone because I got it Wi-Fi connected with the WPS uh, thing. I just pushed the button on my router and it connected and everything else. And it's actually connected through to my uh, Synology uh, NAS box here. And check this out. Here's the app here. See, it's actually connected. Uh, no problems. Like this is just uh, via the Wi-Fi. And we can do the Spotify. We can connect into uh, the Spotify app. And we can do uh, like the, the server, of course. We can go into the server and then we can choose like, you know, music. I don't actually have any music on the <laughs> server. But if we did, I'd be able to uh, play it. And... If we, let's have a look, we can go to Network Radio, for example, and there it is, Coast FM, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, we can choose any one of the countless uh, network radio channels around the world, and it all just works fine. And yes, I have actually uh, tested all, what is it, seven channels or whatever, and do, and yeah, all seven channels work a treat. So... No problems whatsoever. Um, and check this out. Uh, let's hang on. Let's go back. So we can go into like HDMI. It's got really groovy stuff like go into options here. Where is it? I'll find it eventually. We can choose our scenes. We can do uh, DSP uh, stuff. Where was the... Uh, yeah, HDMI. Is it in options? Don't know. Anyway, it came up with like really funky like spectrum uh, displays and we can... Oh, there we go. How does that work? No. Get it eventually. Anyway, sci-fi. Oh, here we go. And we can get like a spectrum display. We can get oh, advanced. Um, all sorts of uh, stuff. DSP level. Things like that. Absolutely fantastic stuff that we can uh, all do remotely with this uh, free Yamaha uh, surround receiver app and it supports all their surround uh, receivers and it works absolutely flawlessly with this one and of course we can actually use your traditional remote so we can go in there we can go set up there we go speaker set up so it's just like having the real remote check it out zone basic by amplified I don't know. Front, extra bass, phase, crossover frequency, surround, all that sort of stuff. So this thing is, I, it looks to be 100% operational. All seven channels. Uh, the HDMI haven't extensively, haven't tested all the HDMI channels, but the HDMI works. The HDMI 1 switches through uh, to the output and stuff like that, um, supports the 4K. Someone uh, also in the comments suggested that it didn't support uh, HDR, the high dynamic range thing, and maybe that's why they threw it out. Um, <laughs> I'd, like, I doubt it. But, yeah, I'm, <laughs> that is an absolute winner. I'm going to, like, call that, like, completely working, bar any other uh, issue, like, you know, small issues. But even if it does all that, it's fine. I don't know. Maybe there might be some, like it might uh, like die after an hour at high volume or something. You know, there might be some other, like, you know, performance aspect to it. But it seems to be fully operational. So that's a real dumpster score, that one. Shame I don't really have a use for it. <laughs> so I don't know. I'll probably just sell it. <laughs> Anyone want a Yamaha receiver? Catch you next time.